Okay, here we go. So here is our current clinic. And then this is the maternity. This is very exciting. Please feel free <laughs> to ask questions if you have a question along the way. It's looking great. So this is the side that our visitors will come in. And in here is reception. <laughs> Dr. Kowich is ready doubt. to receive us. <laughs> yes. I wonder how often he'll be working reception. <laughs> And then on this side is our big uh, ward that's going to be difficult to get in right now. Hang on. Okay. Through all the boards, what are those holding up? Is that the, the rafters or the? Yes, yeah, so they're working cool. on all of this overhead, which I don't have the technical terms for, but that's what all the wood is doing. Okay, great. But you can see this half wall here. Yeah. And then on the other side of that, we will have more beds. So it's kind of a divided wing, but it's all open. So there will be one nurse that's monitoring this whole area. The other view is there's another entrance and it's just the same thing. So from the other side. So there's two doors into this ward. Awesome. But if I back up here, you can see this opening where Henry is standing. This is going to be our ramp up to the delivery side. So this is the ramp that has caused us some trouble, but we think it's gonna be good. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be good. It doesn't look too yeah. steep. No, it's very good. I think we definitely needed to push out that door and make those adjustments. It's gonna be good. Yeah, that, that extra meter we added there gave us mm -hmm. the, the space we needed. Yes. And then in here, this is going to be, what did we end up deciding? This is our janitor's closet. Yep. Yeah. So janitor's closet. So we're going to have our big wash sink here. Yep. yep. And then it drains out the side of the building this direction. And this is our storage and where we're going to have our motherboard for the electric. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. And so they chose this room because they said we needed ventilation from that window um, for all the electric stuff. Right. Yeah, the ventilation is because when we put the batteries for the solar in there, it'll right. get hot. Yes. That's all been explained to me. I'm just, I'm, this isn't my thing. So the electric <laughs> stuff, you know? <laughs> uh, so and that back up, door... That back door yes. you were looking out, that'll go mm -hmm. out to toilets and showers yep. and kind of a yard for women as they're recovering. Um, a place where women can walk if they need to walk during the labor process. So that's that area back there. Then going up our ramp, it is our plan that we will have a automatic wheelchair button here that these doors will open up and that this ward will be a private area that only the laboring and delivering families will be at that area. Um, so there will be doors in this area and then this will be open. And this is where mothers will wait while they're laboring but not quite ready to delivery because the nurse's station is right across the hall. So they have close monitoring for the, from the nurses to know when we need to move to a delivery room. So we'll be able to fit a few beds in this area and you can see we'll have some sinks also. So the nurse's station. This is an area for storage of delivery equipment that they'll be taking to the room as they need to restock their carts and things like that. And then this side is more of the desk and uh, documenting area. So it's a half wall again so that they can look straight into the NICU over there. So that will be a big plexiglass window and we'll have our babies in there so they can observe the moms off to this side, the babies off to this side. And then back here is a small break room. We'll have a bed and an area for them to rest because with babies, this is gonna be all the time business. So um, that's the little nurse's break room back here. 
And going down the hall, you already saw a little bit of the NICU. So we'll have a sink in this corner. And then we've got lots of electric outlets here um, for whatever equipment the babies might need, whether that's oxygen concentrators or um, special lights for their bilirubin and things like that. And then the rest of them are the same all the way through. We've got delivery rooms. So each delivery room will have a sink and the bed. And we've got electric in here. And it's private, which is not common in Malawi. And the inspector is very pleased with that um, from what he has told us because this uh, will allow for men to be in the delivery with women. Whereas in other cases, there's all the women in one room and the fathers cannot be present. So this allows for that possibility. And then lastly, we've got this door out this direction, um, which is where we will go if we do have an emergency and we need to get someone on the ambulance, we'll go out this door and the ambulance will be here ready to take them away. And one day we'll just wheel them out there into the surgery center and that's exciting too. Yeah. Here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Just picture a surgery center there one day. <laughs> that is so cool. Yes. I did forget one door out the nurse's station hallway. That will be another bathing toilet area for the women on this side. So you can see that doorway here between the nurse's station and the NICU. <sighs> Carly, it's beautiful. You're doing such a great job, all of you. I know it's been a hard, hard job and lots of, lots of uh, oversight and making sure things were done right. It's just, um, it's huge, but it is beautiful. Yes, everyone's doing a great job. It's a full-time job, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Um, uh, Dr. Kocha, do you want to say anything just to like end the, this recorded part of our of our meeting and then we'll go back to our meeting, but I just wanted to record this. So Dr. Kocha, anything you want to say to our uh, people here in America who have been giving our donors? Um, what, I, what I can say uh, this morning is that uh, I just want to thank uh, everybody that has given towards this project. Uh, we have to feel that uh, we have done a great job to our community here in Malawi. This is uh, a very big project as far as uh, Malawi is concerned. You know, we are very much, much behind in terms of health issues are concerned in, in Malawi. So having this structure, uh, very soon we're having an ambulance so it's a relief to the government of Malawi and to everybody. So uh, I just want to thank uh, Circle of Hope um, for the great job that is doing to our community here in Malawi. Thank you very much. <laughs>